<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Cameron, welcome back to your regularly scheduled nonsense. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We're back in the wonderful buggy mess that is Dying Light 2. Stay human. <laughs> it heard me. <laughs> so, girl, you want to call me wonderful and buggy? Well, I'm going to fucking give you a load time right here. Dude. This is it. This is going to be the whole episode. Oh, there we go. Hi, Aphrodite. Alright, we're going to go talk with Lawan Up here. Oh, shit, we're about to parkour level up. Dope. is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. But well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. Ah, when so he sees jackass. something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something's left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Fair enough. So I don't think I have the grappling hook yet. I believe I need to finish this quest before I get it. Or do I? Yeah, I'm guessing it's one of these two. I hear Matt told his men to leave the island camp. Dead PKs don't care about us. So. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss that. Holy shit. Oh fuck you, game. <sighs> That's fucking ass nine. This game blows. No, I'm just kidding. This game... I don't know, man. I, I'm harsh on this game, but it's because I had really big expectations for it. Like, there's a reason right after this game came out, I went and platinumed Dying Light 1. You know, there, there's a reason. Because as much shit as I'm giving this game... I do really love this franchise. Did you hear? Renegades attacked the canteen. I was there, motherfucker, I know. So as much as I do enjoy this game, and as much as I'm not upset that like I bought it. God, again, really? There is definitely a part of me that wishes this game was better. Because I know it could have been. Dude, phone. Love that my phone keeps... Every time I try to put might have to send... I'm trying to send somebody a text. Trying to write might, might have, like the conjunction of might have. My phone's like, eh, might vary. Like, are you fucking retarded, phone? Apparently. Probably. I don't know. Your 
I don't entirely know if that one counts as helping somebody because technically they're still dead. Like that survivor's dead, so I don't know if that counts as me helping him or not. No, you motherfucker. Dude, really? Oh, of course. Love how I pressed square and it didn't fucking pull my thing out. That's so much fun. So, so nice. The paraglider works so well all the time. The paraglider never fucks up, you guys. It's always perfectly working. Oh, did I say always perfectly working? I meant it constantly fucks up and half of the time doesn't work. Then there's the stupid part about the fact that this doesn't count as traveling distance, even though you're still traveling a distance. Anything to make the player not be able to enjoy the game and use the things that are provided to them, though, right? <laughs> right, Techland? Why? You know, why, uh... Why let that count and let us actually enjoy using a part of the game when it's easier to make the paraglider not count? And then lock you out of using part of the, the game that you designed. I know I sound very, like, pissy about that one, but that's... That's because I am, personally speaking, honestly. Why... Oh my god, dude. Why give us the paraglider? And then not have it count for a specific trophy? So then no one ever wants to use it. My god, this takes so long. Didn't she say this thing was only like accessible by paraglider or something? Because if this is the place I'm supposed to be going to for this random shit, then she's clearly mistaken. Drop, you fucking ass. Jesus. Press and circle over here. Okay, so it does look like I have to paraglide a little bit. Yeah, this place is definitely not only reachable by paraglide, by paraglider. See? I, I mean, I managed. I, I I guess technically that means it's only accessible with paraglider, but I the one was able to make it easier. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Well, maybe Daniel is a fucking idiot. Just saying. What else we got? Yeah, no, it's it's definitely not got anything inside of it. At least so far. Sorry, but it seems there isn't room for you in the helicopter after all. I'll try to send another one. Don't worry. I had to save the collection. Yours, T. I took these paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> one romantic son of a bitch. What an asshole. Transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on 
the one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. On the roof that I was already on top of that I didn't see anything on. Interesting. Let's go to the roof that I didn't see anything on top of when I was up there, but that's what's telling me to do. That's what's telling me to do. Ah, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan, found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. Uh, at least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. Ugh, girl. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't, but if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Might as well. Again, I know it doesn't really help me. I'm probably going to end up um, doing the rubber band method just to get through the, the distance travel a lot easier. Because um, personally, I really don't feel like sitting here trying to actually move that distance while I play this. But, hey, you know, maybe I'll get some of, the, I'll get some of that done while I'm going through this game, obviously, um, during the playthrough. But I, I'm not super inclined to sit here and do nothing but run every time. It's a voice message? Where the fuck? Hold up. Can't remember if this is part of the collectibles or not. I don't think it is, but... Still, uh... Still fun to go look at them. Go hear what people are doing in their last days. Hold up. Let me. Oh wait, I can. Wait, what? So I thought I'll say I don't think I can. Might as well dismantle it. Weapons to sell. Open that one. That was such an easy kill. Holy fuck.
would have been my friend, my cousin's birthday. Wild. Everyone use inhibitors? What? What? Uh, let's do two for health really quick. I figure it's probably not the worst... Worst thing in the world to do. Alright. Let's continue on to Denier's party. Where the fuck? Thank you. Please take this for saving me. Damn. Birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Now here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you. I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it, said dinner war. Yeah, uh. Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. You won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. Oh, Jesus. Bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? Oh, what game? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Sure, why not? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Oh, God. Okay, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. 
Oh, so, fuck. Have you slept with anyone in Villador? No, oh, fuck's sake. No. Are you for real? <laughs> well, maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Not everyone is like you, bro. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? <clears throat> Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. Truth. I look at you and I wonder, who were you before all this? Good call. We really didn't want to hear him sing. Believe me. Who was Roe before he became a tough-as-nails peacekeeper? A father and a husband. You were a father? I lost my kids at the beginning of all this. I, uh, I tried to save them. I almost did, but at the end, I was the only one who survived. Now I'm alive. Well, that was not what I was expecting. With regrets. How, how did they... Infected? Worse. People. A group of raiders, typical bandits of the time, tried to take our food. I wasn't gonna stand idle and give up everything we had. I had to defend my family. I was proud. Stupid. Outnumbered. I didn't... For the follow-up. Okay, enough of this. Hey, you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. Oh, yeah, the... The hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No. He's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were Oof. wiped out at the VNC tower. Frank lost almost everyone. Night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so. I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Well, that got depressing fast. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Oh well. Yeah. Gajo, here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink. For me. And another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Oh, I think are you. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started. <sighs> gajo, gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, 
And I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. <coughs> but never, never ask Lavan about her past. You get it? Good. Get it, got it, good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. <sighs> well, that was a depressing ass birthday. Or Denier. Oh, I was trying to hit the fucking bar right there. I missed. Flash. Did you mess with it? No. Uh, Maybe. Stay where you are. You got your head. Make it like baby and head now. God damn it. I don't know if it's just a different spot of that or control. what, but it's totally very weird to that. me that uh, damn. that the game is like what's the word I'm looking like? What's the best way I can describe this? The game is like holy shit! I gotta sell a lot of this shit. Man, you got some good shit. The game is acting like I haven't been to that thing when it then shows me that I've, you know, got something new. Aren't you a model citizen? Thank you. Thank you. Can't have too many of these, citizen. Be awesome if they had an actual fucking uh, tracker for you to know how much money you've had in this game in total. I'm always in the market for these. All right, there we go. Bye for now. Excellent pause, man. Oh, shit, I didn't realize how low my health was getting. These things are... I really want... The thing is, I really want to enjoy this game. I do. But, so much... So much of what made this good... Uh, what made Dying Light 1 good... They've changed for this game. Like, for instance, Volatiles in Dying Light 1 are, like, the scariest, most terrifying shit in the world. Like, you know if you see a Volatile, there's very little chance you're surviving. In this game, though, they're just kind of there. Like... 
I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't I don't feel the same fear when it comes to the volatiles in this game that I did in Dying Light One when it came to the volatiles. Like, don't get me wrong. They're tough opponents and shit, but they're not... You know, they're just not as scary. They're not as strong, and it just makes it less enjoyable. But that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Peace.